Hello everyone, today I want to share a good news with you. I have installed Google GMS on my old laptop PC. I installed Google Play Store and can run Android apps perfectly on my old laptop, such as YouTube, Google Map, Google Photo, Facebook, WhatsApp, TikTok, and other Android apps. You can turn your old laptop into a large screen Android phone without spending money. Using Google's Android apps is very convenient on your old laptop PC. Okay, then go to my computer and have a look. Let's go. Okay, welcome to my old laptop. First, let's take a look. This system is based Google's Chrome OS open source system which installed, uh, which compiled with uh, Google's App Store. You can see this is uh, here is a uh, Docker and uh, I already installed the Google Play Store. Let's have a look, click this one. So you can see I already installed the Google Play Store. So you can using the Google Play Store to install the uh, applications you want. For example, if you want to use a Google Photos, so you can click this install to install the Google Photos, this Android applications to install it on your old laptop. For example, I already installed the uh, apps like, uh, you can see the uh, Facebook, I already installed the Facebook, so you can log in with, with using your phone uh, using this Android app. And you can use in this uh, WhatsApp here, you can see the WhatsApp Android applications. I all use, in, use this uh, uh, Google App Store to uh, install those kind of uh, Android apps. And I also installed the uh, Google Map here. You can see I installed the Google Map. So just like a, a big screen, no screen is very big, big screen Android phone. It's very useful and you can use your old laptop to using this uh, uh, Chrome OS system. And you can see I already installed these uh, applications here, um, Google Photos. Okay, so it finished installation, so I can click open to open the Google Photos um, on your laptop. It's very uh, convenient for you. You can see. Uh, and you can allow the uh, Google Photos allow and you can change storage saver or original quality. I change storage saver, do not backup or turn on backup of your photos on your phone. So you can turn on backup here. So because I see, uh, there's no photo on my laptop, so you can see this blank. So you can use this photo to so backup all your photos using the Google Photo. It's very useful applications. And uh, you can see this is a YouTube. Also, you can use the YouTube here. You can see the YouTube. You can use the uh, Android apps on your laptop PC. So using the Google's Play Store. Okay, let's uh, introduce some idea of this. Uh, like this uh, start menu, click it and uh, you can see this is a start menu, so you can install, you can use in the Play Store, so, so the applications are all here. And uh, the web store, which means uh, this is based on the Chrome OS, so you can click this one. This is a Chrome OS, so this is the Chromium uh, browser, so you can use it to uh, here, you can see this uh, web store to install the web applications to your Chrome, Chromium uh, OS. It is uh, other kind of applications you can use. Okay, so and I, other things like this one, this you can also play games. This is a cut rope here. You can play the games of the cut the rope. It's a very funny uh, game. So on this uh, Chrome OS, um, well, uh, Chrome OS system. Okay, this is Docker and I can introduce here. This is a tray. The tray is here. You can uh, power off your, your laptop PC and restart and lock. And this is the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth notifications. And this is the sound. You can change your sound. And this is uh, the LCD light, light lower and light brighter. So it's very convenient to use the, this OS. It's based on the open source Chrome OS. Um, the Google's open source Chrome OS system, so but compiled with the uh, Google's app application, Google's uh, Google Play Store here. Okay, now move to my another PC. I will introduce how to use uh, uh, how to use a USB drive to install this uh, Chrome OS uh, with the uh, Google Play Store onto your old laptop. For my old laptop, is this one Dell old laptop, more than uh, five years old? Okay, I'll, let's move to my another PC. Let's go.
Okay, welcome to my another PC. So I already opened the official website of the Find OS. I will put this web link down below this video description for you to download the Find OS, which is basically the open source Google open source Chrome OS. Let's check it out. Let's check have a look. There's some introduction on this official website, Simple, Swift, and uh, so Secure, and it's based on the Chrome OS. Some introductions. Now they can on the same screen and uh, uh, un undisrupted update, no problem. Some in support, multi boot, so you can install this uh, Fido OS on your laptop PC with multiple boot, which means you can have both Windows 10 and both have this Fido OS on your laptop. Okay, let's go down here and click download now. You can download on the Fido OS based on, you can choose from those three options PC, which means your PC with Intel processor and HD graphic third generation to eighth generation of the Intel PC. So and you can also choose this uh, Intel processor and Iris XE graphic ninth uh, generation and eleventh generation of your Intel processor uh, of your PC. So it depends on your Intel processor which generation is on. So and the third option is for the uh, AMD with the AMD Ray graphic card and AMD processor. Processor is depend on your processor. Okay, so for my PC, I'm using the Intel uh, process processor with the uh, third generation and to eighth generation. So I, I'm select this one because my PC is within within the scope of third generation and eighth generation. Okay, and for uh, the other, this is uh, the second. This uh, option is for the VMware. If you have the VMware, you can choose select this one to download. And find OS for you. This option, if you have a specific model of your PC, for example, you have a Surface, Surface Go or Surface 2 and Surface Pro. So those uh, kind of uh, uh, settings is specific for your PC. For if you have the Surface Pro 6, then you can click this one to download this uh, Fido OS version, which is designed specifically for your Surface Pro 6. Okay, so for me, I'm is uh, is just a general uh, PC. For me, it's from the Dell company, so it's uh, just just a general um, computer, general laptop. So there's no specific model. So for me, I will select this one, graphic with the third generation, eighth generation. Okay, I click this one. And here you can download from OneDrive or from Miro One or from Miro Two. I'm down. Miro Two is from the FinderOS.io, the official site. For me, I will click this one to download the FinderOS from this uh, Miro uh, Two from the FinderOS official website because I already finished the download, so I will no longer to download again. Okay, this is the first website, and the second website is the Balena. Itcher. This is used to the flash this, uh, I mean the Fido OS onto into your flash drive. I mean, I mean this flash drive. So you will use this tool to download this tool to flash this Fido OS onto into your flash drive. So uh, I will also put this link down below this video description for you to download this uh, uh, Belena Belena uh, Itcher to use this tool. Okay. Then you click this um, drop down menu here drop down menu and you can download the etcher for Windows 10 uh, for Windows x86 or x864 uh, portable so I prefer the portable there's no need to install this uh, to onto your PC you just use a portable version for me I already downloaded this uh, this uh, file so there's no need for me to download again okay then let's move back to my uh, folder here so you can see I already downloaded these two files. This is a uh, Belena Itcher and this is the uh, Fido OS the uh, file. So, so, so there's no need to to extract these files. Just uh, with the uh, the files uh, name is .xz. You need to don't need to ex extract the file. Just uh, with this uh, file, leave it just like that. And ne next, you need to plug this uh, USB drive with your PC. So I will plug this uh, USB drive with my PC here and next step you need to double click this Blana Itcher portable double click and you need to use this tool to make a USB 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 uh, bootable um, bootable bootable USB drive okay then I will click this one flash from file 
flash from file, then you need to select the file OS stable.img.xz. So this file, click this one and click open. So open it and click select target. Click select target and you need to select this USB drive. So this is my USB drive. So please pay attention well, to check if this is your USB drive name. For me, it's uh, 128 gigabyte. This is my USB drive. Okay, click uh, ticking this ticking and select, click select and click flash to flash this drive and it will uh, it will erase all the data on this flash drive so this is a, a warning for you to double confirm okay and then I click yes I'm sure so now it the purple window click yes so now you can see this is a progress bar it will show you the progress of this uh, uh, making this USB portable USB bootable uh, drive to install the Fido OS onto your PC. Okay, just to pay attention, just to wait for several minutes. It depends on your USB drive speed. So for my USB drive, this is SSD USB drive. It's very fast. For me, it's only take me like uh, one minute or so. It depends on your USB drive speed. Okay? Okay, perfect. So now the USB bootable drive already finished. So I will close it and unplug my USB drive and I will plug this USB drive to my laptop PC. Okay, now let's go. Okay, now I will plug this USB drive to my laptop PC. I will plug it and then I will put, put the power on, power on button. And for my PC, I will click the F12, F12 to choose boot from my uh, flash drive. For different brand of your laptop PC, you need to Google Google to find Google it to find your uh, buttons. For example, your button maybe you plus uh, press the ESC or F2 or, or F8 or F12. It's depend on your uh, version of uh, it's on your brand of your PC, laptop PC. So for me, I'm I'm clicking the F12. Okay, then I will choose this uh, is my USB bootable drives. USB drive, I will click it select it and click enter to boot from my USB drive okay so now this file OS is loading it's loading is very fast and you can see this is uh, the logo of this uh, file OS which is based on the Chrome OS open source so now you can select your language for me I just select the English and the US you can change the other languages like uh, Chinese or the other uh, Arabic uh, other kind of uh, la language okay then click OK Click OK and welcome to your Find OS device, fast, secure and effortless. OK, get started here, get started. So you have two options. You can install the Find OS onto your laptop hard drive or you just try it first. You, if you try it first and, and feel satisfied, you can install the Find OS into your hard drive. Yes. So you can uh, make a multiple uh, bootable system. So Windows with uh, both system can be existed, coexisted with the uh, Windows 10 and with this uh, Fido OS. So two system can be um, for you, can you. When you boot up, you can select Windows 10 or, or choose the uh, Fido OS. You can select this uh, one of them when you boot from your laptop PC after you install it onto hard drive, internal hard drive. Okay, for me, I just try it. I select try it first. Then I will click next. Then uh, we need to select the uh, Wi-Fi. So I will choose my Wi-Fi and key in your Wi-Fi password. Okay, after keying the Wi-Fi password, click connect. Okay, then there are some agreement. I will click accept and continue and accept and continue. So just wait. Here you can see there's a register screen. You can use your mobile phone to register and you can use it to synchronize some data. But uh, for me, I don't need to register here. I can use here, use local account. So you can use local account. There's some menus, install Find OS or browse as, as a guest or shut down. So for me, I will use as a local account. We click it, use as a local account, click it. 
So use a uh, local account. Some say that if you use a local account, you cannot synchronize uh, blah, 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 something like that. Okay, continue use use online account, it, which means you can synchronize some, uh, some browsing data, something like that. But uh, use local account, okay, it's uh, more convenient. We don't need to register uh, the online account, okay? You can use local account and you can just uh, blah, blah, say some names. For me, I will choose my name like logs and the password key in password again okay then click next so yeah you are all set it's very quick join a user experience improvement plan you can switch it off okay so we get started oh it's cool so now see that this desktop is already opened it's very fast then now uh, let's have a tray have a look you can turn the uh, screen light uh, uh, screen uh, more brighter okay so but you can see there's uh, no uh, Google's app here you can see there's no Google Google's uh, Play Store here so we needed to do more step one steps very easily to download and install the Google's App Store uh, to uh, Google's App Store to install the YouTube WhatsApp Facebook those Android apps on your laptop PC then how to download it you can see here this is a, a store click this store here and you will find this one this click and this click this one made by find OS here made by find OS and configure open G apps click this one open G apps configure open G apps for the Android subsystems on find OS add to find OS click it we need to install uh, read and write file to your hard drive, execute safe and why why okay, let's add apps. So now it will install download and install the Google's applications, Google's uh yeah, Google's applications and then click open apps. Click open apps and set your Android subsystem is inactivated. Please launch Android settings and agree the terms or to proceed. We click OK and let's go to let's go to the android system here click the android system yes and click i agree click i agree and launch yes you can see this is the android subsystem so now it is the installation installation of the uh, google's applications okay let's just minimize it and let's app open the app again open app and you can see configure open g apps for the android subsystem on find os we click agree and click next so click install which means open g app on find os so we can experience google app app stores okay we click next so and uh, install the open g apps onto your system we click install and click after you finished you need to reboot the uh, Fido OS system. Okay, we needed to reboot it. Click OK. So now it will uh, download the Google Apps, Google GMS, Google's uh, App Store, uh, and install it on your uh, laptop PC. Just to pay, just to be patient. Wait for several minutes. Okay, you can see it said, uh, "Please reboot the system." And after reboot, you will see the Google's App Store on the stalker yes we will click reboot now and the system will be rebooted okay my system is rebooted and uh, keying my password and going to the desktop you can see the docker is still without this uh, google's app store because no problem you needed to wait for several seconds and it will come onto your uh, desktop docker you can see yeah you can see the google's app store already here so it's cool right and uh, i will set to make my screen brighter and i will click this google's play store click it so next you can sign in your google play store to uh to sign in with your gmail account yeah i will key in my gmail account okay then click next key your password okay then key click next click i agree Uh, don't need to back up and click accept yeah perfect you can see this uh, it's very nice you can see this uh, Google's App Store then you can search for like uh, the Facebook 
So you can use the Facebook on your laptop with the Android, click install to install these Android applications. So this uh, uh, FIDO OS is based on the Chrome OS. So it is very light. It's very suitable for your old laptop PC. And you can see this is a Chrome OS. So you can use the Chrome OS to search for the website, to visit the website. It's very high efficient for your laptop PC. I mean, for the old laptop PC, it is very suitable for the old laptop PC with this Find OS also included with the Google's App Store. So it's very convenient to use. Okay, so if you like my sharing, don't forget to sum up and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.